Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about scatter plots. Now, we've talked about scatter plots before, but it's an important topic and it's valuable for you to see multiple examples. So, today we will be going through how to describe a scatter plot. And if you remember, that includes five different questions that you're going to ask of a scatter plot. One is, is there even a pattern? Two is, if there is a pattern, what is the pattern? Three is, what's the direction of the pattern? Four is, how strong is that pattern? And then the fifth thing is, are there unusual data points or in other words, outliers? Now remember, the first question, if you say no, don't go any further. Because if there is no relationship or no pattern, there's no point in describing the rest of it. It's going to be kind of unimportant. This is the scatter plot we're going to be looking at today. You can see that we have education and then we have income. Just a quick reminder, when you're talking about this type of situation where you have at least two quantitative variables, the variable that's on the X axis is doing the explaining and the variable on the Y axis is the response variable. So here, our explanatory variable on the x-axis is education, and the response variable is the income. Now, that intuitively should make sense to you because the more education you have, it tends to be the case, you make more money. Now, we are going to work at describing this particular scatter plot, and we're gonna answer all five questions. Question number one, is there a pattern? What do you think? I think there's a pattern. Let's write that down. Question number two, what is the pattern? Now, when you look at this scatter plot, what do you see? I think I can see kind of a line forming. So we would call that linear. Let's write that down. Question three is, what is the direction of the relationship or the pattern? And if you notice when you look at the X, Y, and remember you read it like you read a book, so as you progress from the left to the right, you can see that the Y variable or income increases as education incomes. So as X is increasing, Y increases as well, which makes it positive. Let's write that down. So the fourth question is, how strong is the relationship? Well, if you look at these dots, they actually are fairly tight together. Now I've seen tighter relationships than this, but these dots are fairly tight around that kind of mental linear relationship that we're seeing. So I would say that this is a fairly strong. Now the last and final question is, are there any unusual data points or outliers? Now remember, an outlier can be present for one of three reasons. One reason can be it's extreme in X. Another reason can be that it's extreme in Y. Now when you look at this scatter plot, you can see that there are really no extreme in X. So we have from six years of education up to about 16, so no outliers because of that reason. You'll also notice that for the income, it's going from zero to about a little over 25,000. So none of those values are extreme in Y. So those two reasons don't count. However, you will notice that there is a value up in that right corner that's kind of strays from the overall pattern. And that's the thin outlier. And I would consider that to be an outlier. So when you say that there's an outlier, it's valuable for you to say where, where it is. So this is about, I don't know, 13 years of education and about $26,000, I would say. So it would be 13 comma 26. Remember, that's how you write those coordinates. Now the other value over here uh, that is in this top right-hand corner, I'm not sure. That That's kind of subjective. So that's one of the stinkers about scatter plots is that when you're identifying outliers, it's not always a black and white. You might say something is an outlier, other disciplines or people from other disciplines might not 
Um, I, I don't know is that I would consider that as far away, but this one I think definitely, definitely is. So that's all we have for scatter plots in today's video. In future videos, we'll talk about how to create a scatter plot ourselves with the programming package R. See you there.